super excited about. I got it for myself. Yeah, for myself for Father's Day. Sometimes you got to treat yourself, right? But this is the brand is Lixita. I believe the model is the barbecue stove number two. They're on Amazon. They've got a multitude of different kind of varieties of stoves, but I am really excited about this one. Very excited about this. It's like a little mini grill, as you'll see as I set it up. Of course, quick, simple coffee. We're going alcohol tabs. But, essentially, everything you need is here on the inside, if I can get it out. Alright, so, basic premise here, flat part is to catch the coals and whatnot. How to figure it out, that's how it goes, that's how it goes. And then, the stakes here. There are, let me show you, these holes here will adjust the height for your grate here. So since we're going alcohol tabs, we're going to go on the first at the top. Put the grate down inside there, and then the top grate, how does it go? It goes in like this. And then boom, you have yourself an on-the-go little, pretty much like I said, barbecue grill. The thing I like the most about it, if you're going to go with wood, you got this little flap here that you can open it, toss some more wood in there, you're ready to go. So let's get this coffee on. All right, now the directions for this say to let the water come to, I can't remember how they worded it, not a rolling boil. They claim that's not what you want to do for coffee. So we're going to take the word for it. It's their contraption. Uh, I've already tested it, but we're going to do the way that they tell us how to. And it wouldn't be a trip to the woods without me forgetting something, and I forgot the spoon to measure it. So this will be interesting. But while we wait for this to get going, let's go over here, and I'm going to get my tarp set up for my little lean-to shelter. Yeah. tricky part because I forgot my spoon. We're dealing with about, you know, on the little decanters at home, the four cup mark is about where we're at. So one. Yeah. 
Alright, now the, the directions for this said to, like right now I should stir this, remove it, and let it sit for, I think it was four to six minutes. I tried that when I was out with my brother Corey, but it didn't give a good flavor. So we're going to let it cook a couple minutes, then set it off. And, well, nothing wrong with a little stick spoon. Make sure we get all that coffee in there though, so I'm stuck on the side. There we go. Alright. Let that cook a few minutes, let it get nice and strong, and then we'll get to the next part. And uh, while I'm thinking about it, quick shout out to Dennis, Canoe Hound Adventures. He's also part of the Community Outdoors Season 2. We're the two new guys this year. So, I'm not going to tell you what order he's in, but... You will find out who's coming up after me when I get to that video. I gotta drink this coffee first. Okay, I let mine cook on the uh, over the flame about three or four minutes. I set it to the side, and it's been about almost five minutes now. So we are going to use the press to filter the coffee and then pour. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Bob Ross. Give it a try. You know, I was worried I didn't put enough coffee in, because as I poured, I don't know if we'll be able to tell in video, but it looked pretty weak. Flavor is great though, and last time I poured that thing, it leaked everywhere when I poured. Perfect pour this time, no floaty bits. I kind of like that little thing. Quick, convenient. Great cup of coffee. Alright guys, well, that's going to do it for this one. Nothing, you know, bushcraft coffees aren't anything special. I carved some three, I needed three wooden stakes for the back. I have every intention of putting some braces back here, like kind of like a lean-to, just not totally filled in. I don't have time to get to it today. It will be done. This will work for now. So, until next time, YouTube, Wayne, remember... This isn't called the Great Outdoors for no reason.